Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Morgan, this is my channel Pisces Paperbacks, and today I'm starting a travel vlog. So I'm actually going to Chicago this weekend for a family event. One of my like second cousins is to her bat mitzvah. I am very excited. It's been years since I've been to Chicago and I thought I would take you along, tell you what I'm reading, show you a little bit of what I'm doing, even though it's, I'm not like going to sightsee, I'm going for an event. It is currently Wednesday night and I have a lot to do. I need to go make copies of my key. I meant to months ago. I've lived here for months, but I need to make copies of my key. I'm going to bring one to my best friend's house so that she can come check in on the pets on Sunday. But I actually have a pet sitter coming on Friday and Saturday, and I need to get a key for her as well to put in like a lockbox. I have a lot to do, but let me tell you a little bit about the books I'm planning on reading. I actually don't have a plan. <laughs> I don't have a plan. All I know is that I'm taking my Kindle and I have some audiobooks on hold. It's not a very long flight. It's like a it's like a two hour flight and we leave at 6 a.m. on Friday. So I'm not I'm anticipating sleeping on the on the plane. But I do have two audiobooks. I have Finley Donovan is killing it. I don't know who the author is. This book is a like fun, cozy mystery thriller situation about an author who's overheard talking about her book in a like she writes mysteries and murder mysteries and so she's overheard talking about her book in a coffee shop I think and someone overhears her and thinks that she is an assassin for hire and she kind of gets into shenanigans I've heard really good things about this Kayla from books and Lala loves this series and I thought I might as well jump in and it helps that the buzzword book thing the buzzword a thon word for February is verbs killing is a verb so that's cool I also have the audiobook for Mr. Fox by Helen Oyeyemi I do not remember I remember like looking through audiobooks to find something to put on hold like weeks ago but I do not remember what the synopsis of this is so I will let you know if I get to it it's also Black History Month here in America, so I want to make sure that I'm reading, like, a significant number of Black authors. And Helen Oyeyemi is British, so she's a Black British author, and that's very cool, but I want to make sure I'm reading Black American authors. I have the ebook for My Darling Duke by Stacey Reed. She is a Black author who writes historical romance. I really want to check her out. I tried to listen to the audiobook of this um, in January, and the narrator was awful oh I it couldn't listen to it so I would love to read My Darling Duke by Stacey Reed and then I would love to read The Taking of Jake Livingston by Ryan Douglas taking another verb um I think this would be really fun I've been meaning to read this since it came out I think I literally bought it like right when it came out and so I would like to get to this one and I also have the ebook for A Bump in Boo Hail by Kimberly Lemming she is the author who wrote that time I got drunk and saved a demon, which is like a Kindle Unlimited fantasy romance that I absolutely adored. This is a novella in that same world, kind of with a Halloween-y theme. So that's kind of like what I'm feeling. I don't like to make TBRs. I'm very bad at making plans and sticking to them in terms of like reading. I am a mood reader through and through. So I'll just like tell you what I'm doing as I go. This vlog will probably be from today to Sunday and yeah so let's go hello i i got my key copies made at one of those kiosks in a rite aid and then i came to my friend's house to give her her copy and i'm walking back to the subway now i'm 15 percent into finley donovan and i don't know why i thought i would like this not that i'm disliking it but i get secondhand embarrassment very easily i experience the cringe factor extremely easily it makes some things difficult for me to read or watch on tv and not that anything has really happened yet but it's just like i just know it's going to be hijinks and shenanigans and like ridiculousness that's going to like stress me out i don't mind like the miscommunication trope but i hate like a misunderstanding mix-up trope it's just like ugh, it makes my skin crawl it's one of the reasons i can't watch most like modern rom-coms because they're not very romantic they're just like shenanigans and i'm like the whole time so i'm listening to it and nothing has happened yet really 
but I'm I'm so stressed because <laughs> I know it's going to be and I'm like kill kill me now he'll actually kill me now so wish me luck good morning I've not taken any clips since Wednesday I also haven't read anything since Wednesday so that's fine but um, it's 3.30 a.m. I'm finishing packing. I have my whole table set up with everything for Marcy and Elsa so that the dog sitter knows where everything is. And I'm just like, I also have like a list of everything I need to make sure I don't forget anything. <sighs> I have a coffee that I got at Wawa last night in the fridge. I'm waiting to go. And my lift gets here at 4 to pick me up. So I'm dressed. I'm forcing myself to eat a little something. It's 3.45 coffee. Um, I just downloaded a few things on Netflix to watch perhaps this weekend, like on the plane, they're back. The Netflix password sharing thing is so stupid. Like I'm just, I just won't have, I just won't use Netflix then. Especially since I mostly use probably Disney Plus and HBO. I don't know. Anyway, I've decided not I'm not DNFing Finley Donovan, but like I my brain can't handle that today. So if I read anything today over the course of travel, it's going to be my darling Duke or a bump in boo hail because it's a romance, it's light, it's easy, it's not going to stress me out. <laughs> and that is what I'm looking for. I downloaded the last two episodes of The Big Flower Fight. I'm rewatching that. And also the first Lord of the Rings movie, which I've never watched, which I think is plenty of stuff. I don't know if I'll watch The Lord of the Rings. But I feel like a lot of the movies that I habitually rewatch have been taken off of Netflix. Like, Trial in the Chocolate Factory, Legally Blonde. I don't think How the, How the Grinch Stole Christmas was never on there. That's on HBO or Amazon, I don't remember which one. But like, a lot of the movies that I rewatch a lot are like not on Netflix anymore, so it's kind of annoying <laughs> to scroll through. And it says watch again and I scroll through and it's all movies that I like. I didn't even finish the first time. So, and there's, I love the movie Trolls. But there's only so many times you can watch that, you know? <laughs> much much later it's like 7 30 i'm knitting and reading a bump and boo hail i just started it's very cute it has the same characters as that time i got drunk and saved a demon and that time i got drunk and yeeted a love potion at a werewolf so i really love kimberly lemming she's really funny this is like a halloween themed one and i'm also hanging out with my brother in his apartment yay Hi everyone, I'm back in Philadelphia. I'm back home. I got home a couple hours ago and I wanted to give you an update because I really haven't had a chance to talk to you since Friday night. So, Saturday was very, not busy, like hustling from place to place, but very full. I stayed at my brother's house, like I told you, I think in the last clip, and I woke up pretty early. I was sleeping on his couch and it was in his like living room and the, the window in there faces east, so like the sun, sh the sunrise shines straight in there and it was so lovely. I woke up like at 6 a.m. both nights I slept there 
and I was very well rested and I woke up naturally so easy. My apartment, the windows face north and west, so it's literally pitch black in here until like 8 a.m. We went to a cousin's bat mitzvah at 11 and then the party. It was, it was fun. Obviously I'm like an adult now, so it's different, but it was at this place called Whirly Ball, which I had literally never heard of before, but I think it's like a chain of like these activity places in the Midwest. And it's basically, Whirly Ball is this game where you're playing kind of basketball, but you're playing it with wiffle balls. And you know those wiffle ball scoops where you throw wiffle balls? But you're also like driving a bumper car. So it's bumper car, wiffle ball, basketball is Whirly Ball. And I did not get to play. They had pre-selected the teams from the children, but that was fine because there was an open bar and I danced the afternoon away. We didn't get back to my brother's apartment until like 6.30 and we were so tired. We ordered dinner and like passed out at like nine. And then I woke up really early this morning. It's Sunday afternoon right now. I woke up at like 5.30 and I just like read for two hours and it was delightful. And then we took a plane at like 11, super duper easy, but I, should talk to you about what I read. So the last time we spoke, I had just started A Bump and Boo Hail by Kimberly Lemming. And I regret to say that I didn't like, I didn't really like it. The writing itself, there's nothing wrong with the writing. The sense of humor was funny. Like that part of it was nothing. It's just that the plot of this one was just not one that I enjoyed. It was basically, they're getting ready for the Halloween festival. I think I said this already and Fallon. So it's about Cinnamon and Fallon. Cinnamon's the human, Fallon's like the dragon demon shifter. And I guess Fallon had been kind of a little distant lately. He's been digging a hole in like the back corner of Cinnamon's farm. And the book, the plot is basically like her walking through this cavern that he's dug and it's kind of like a haunted house. And she thinks that he is playing a prank on her by like making this haunted house. And then you find out like other things that are happening at the end. I just didn't like it because if somebody had done that to me and like tried to scare me like that, I would have been in tears. Like she was, she was very scared, but holding it together, I would have been pissing my pants so far before she got to that point. She didn't actually piss her pants, but it's just like, I don't think that's funny. I don't think scaring people like that is funny. So the fact that like that whole is the whole thing. And then at the end, she gets, like, revenge, which she and her husband, like, do the deed. Then he explains that he wasn't the one who was scaring her, and then they together get revenge on the people who were actually trying to scare her. Scare her. But even then, like, I don't like really intense, scary pranks like that. I just don't enjoy them as a concept at all. So, unfortunately, <laughs> like, the writing was nice. The characters are characters I love. But in concept and enjoyment, like reading experience, it was not enjoyable for me. But Saturday night I was on Twitter and I saw someone tweet about this book they had just self-published on Kindle Unlimited. Let me get my other phone. I don't remember the author's name. So the book is Sweet Vengeance by Viano Oniomo. And I saw her tweet about it. And what she tweeted was, surprise release, sweet vengeance is finally here. Joy summons a demon to help her get away with murder. And then she fucks the demon. That's it. That's the plot. And I loved this. I finished it this morning. And then when I was on the plane, I could have started My Darling Duke by Stacey Reed, which I had talked about earlier. And instead I decided to just start this book again. <laughs> so like I said in the tweet, it is about a woman named Joy summoning a demon to help her kill her rapist. So I just wanna give a, a real content warning for rape, sexual assault. It is something that has heavily impacted Joy as the main character. She is seeking revenge by murdering her rapist. And she is also, you know, she, they talk about like nightmares and how it's affected her life and the way she like connects with people and she does it's not like she doesn't back out she doesn't like she kills him like you see her brutally murder this man and it is a very much a good for her moment so like if you're not into that i wouldn't recommend this but that's about half the book maybe less a vast <laughs> a vast quantity of this book is really really good sex scenes between joy the human and malachi the demon 
some of the best smut I have read in a very long time. It was, and they fall in love, and you're like, yes, you do love each other. And I, I just love that Joy is so confident, sure of her decisions, and she is commanding, and she knows what she wants from Malachi, and Malachi is a demon who had spent the beginning of his life trapped in hell, kind of being tortured by this particular sect of priests. And so he is desperate to stay in the human world by any means necessary. And you can only stay in the human world if you like have a contract with a human or own a human soul. And so he's like, yeah, I'll help you out. And so they work together to first stalk the rapist so that he thinks he's going crazy by having visions of joy haunting him and then brutally murdering him and then he makes it look like an accident. And they work together and they fall in love. And it is so fucking good. I highly, highly recommend this book. Chef's, chef's kiss, guys. It's so fucking good. That's pretty much gonna be it, guys. I don't really have anything else to talk about. I really talked a big game with all the books I was gonna read, but I didn't have time to read. And I slept on the plane ride there, like conked out. And I just got like a shit ton of holds in from the library. So I really have to tackle those to make sure they don't just like get returned before I can read them. So hopefully my second week of February will, will be a little bit more productive. Because at this point, I think I have only read two books this month. And today is the fifth. So it could be a little better. So <laughs> that's really it. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. It was, I just didn't know what to do. And I thought this would be fun. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time. Bye!